Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos today. I'm in the beautiful and very historic country of Egypt and I'm visiting the fascinating capital of Egypt, the city of Cairo. In this particular documentary, we're going to go to Giza, the eastern part of Cairo. We're going to visit the world famous and the largest pyramid, the pyramid of Cheops or Hufu as it is known in Egyptian. So let's go for a walk and let's learn quite a bit about this magnificent, the most magnificent pyramid here in Egypt. Let's do it. And uh, here's a first view of the most magnificent of the Egyptian pyramids. This is the pyramid of Cheops or Hufu. K-H-U-F-U as it is known in Egyptian. It is absolutely spectacular when you first see it for the very first time. Your mouth is gonna drop wide open. Now before we walk around and learn a lot about this pyramid, let's pause and let, let's take it all in. I'm standing at the southwestern corner of the pyramid. And you can see how beautiful it is from here. So before we learned the dimensions when it was built and all that, let's just take it in first and enjoy. The very first views on this very hot day here in Giza. Magnificent, isn't it? Absolutely magnificent. And uh, here's a view of the western side of the pyramid. You can see the huge blocks that were used to construct this magnificent tomb because that's what the pyramid is, it's a tomb. Let's go a little closer so you can see the size of the blocks. Here's the base of the pyramid, you can see that, that some of the blocks are absolutely huge. Here's a view as you raise your eyes looking up towards the tip of the pyramid. And when you look at the pyramid from this view here, you will swear that you have never seen anything this magnificent really. It was built for Cheops or Heopas, as he was known to the Greeks. He reigned between 2589 and 2566 before Christ. Let's get a little closer. The ground here is very rough, so I need to be very careful, but I want you to just take a look. the side of this magnificent pyramid. Let's walk around a little bit so you can get an idea how it feels to be here and to experience this magnificent pyramid. Here's another view towards the tip of the pyramid once again on the western side. Magnificent, absolutely magnificent. And uh, by the way, climbing is not allowed on any of the pyramids, including the pyramid of Cheops. Here's another view of the western side. Contrary to popular belief that you can pay some people and you can climb up 
onto the pyramid that's not true and this fellow that you see here is a guard and he will make sure that you do not climb even one meter on the pyramid hello so you don't want to get arrested trust me just enjoy walking around and enjoy the magnificent views of this monument not only it is very dangerous as you can see it is very very steep let's get very close to it. you'll see how steep it is so even if you decide to climb onto the pyramid and even if the guard does not see you there's a huge chance that you're gonna get hurt and uh, now let's review some of the wow factors some of the amazing facts about this pyramid as I said it was built in the 25th century before Christ to house the remains of Cheops the height at one point in time was 140 meters it has not been used by three meters and that's because the casing the outside casing of the pyramid has been removed see at one time there was casing that would enclose the pyramid smooth all around on all sides well all those parts of the pyramid have been removed and therefore the height has been reduced by three meters and the length around the perimeter of the pyramid is 230 meters it weighs over six million tons and it contains over two million three hundred thousand blocks some of the blocks are as heavy as two and a half tons and there are blocks that you saw there on the base that weigh over 15 tons each there are three chambers at least historians thought that there were three chambers one in the underground under the pyramid and two in the center of the pyramid well in the 1990s they discovered a fourth chamber somewhere inside the pyramid by using laser equipment by the way all the chambers of the pyramid had been looted when they were discovered in the 19th century here's another view of this magnificent tomb or pyramid now let's walk along the western side of the pyramid so you can get an idea how it feels to be here and also what you can see from this view here that's the tip of the pyramid somewhere up there but you can see the size of the blocks they're absolutely huge at this point on the base a lot of people have scribbled their names on this bottom layer here not anymore the guards will arrest you if you dare damage anything here you can see that the blocks are yellowish in color And the bottom layer as I mentioned to you the casing has been removed so if we if we came here let's say after the pyramid was constructed right after it would have been a very smooth layer running all the way up to the top that layer has been removed unfortunately What 
very beautiful view. Well, let's come back to the southwestern corner of this magnificent pyramid, the Pyramid of Cheops here in Giza. And let's examine briefly its architecture. We mentioned the weight and the size of the blocks and so on. And the way it's constructed and the mathematics are very, very complicated. Unlike an arch, you see, when you have an arch, the weight above the arch is distributed downwards and along the columns that support the arch. Here in a pyramid you have four corners and the weight of the pyramid is towards gets distributed towards the inner core, the center of the pyramid. So if you can draw if you can draw an imaginary line from the tip of the pyramid down to the center. That's where the weight gets distributed along that line. And it goes down to the bedrock. Also the way it was constructed, the mathematics were complicated as well because you could not put extra weight on one side. Otherwise the pyramid would have sunk. So it was built in a way that the weight was equally distributed all around on every side and every corner. So they had to be very, very careful with the distribution of weight. Now let's take a look at the southern side of the Pyramid of Cheops. This is the busiest of the four sides of the pyramid and that's because right there in the middle of the frame you can see the entrance to the inside of the pyramid. We have to buy a separate ticket to go inside and only 150 people are allowed to enter the pyramid per day. Once you enter the pyramid, you will go downwards towards the center of the pyramid and uh, 95 meters below the tip of the pyramid, you will end up at the king's chamber, which is a very large chamber, empty, but it can fit a double-decker bus. I was there about five or six years ago. We're not gonna do it today, and that's because they have changed their policy. You cannot videotape inside. But here's a view of the southern side. A very busy side, as you can see. And this is where a lot of people will chase you around to buy souvenirs. So be emphatic here as well in saying no and just walk around and enjoy the the views of this absolutely magnificent tomb. Now let's go look at something very very interesting right here and it's not this guy selling water but it's this layer of blocks that you see here. So let's get a little closer to these blocks here and let's examine them and you will see why I'm saying they're very very important. Now remember I said that originally the pyramid was surrounded with smooth casing, another layer that you cannot see anymore. You can see the blocks here on the southern side exposed. Well, imagine this whole pyramid covered with smooth casing like you see here. This is the only part of the casing that has remained in the Pyramid of Cheops. So if you were to look at the pyramid upwards two and a half thousand years ago, you would have seen a very smooth side 
running from the top to the bottom and these are the only blocks that have remained intact so the pyramid at one time was magnificent in the sense that it was covered in this very smooth layer of rocks that unfortunately has been removed over the centuries and it's a very last view and use your imagination to construct the magnificent views of this pyramid with a casing on top of these layers of rocks that you see here and uh, here's another view of the magnificent pyramid of Cheops with the three queens pyramids in front of it and that's the pyramid of Cheops or Khufu right there and these are the three pyramids of the queens in front of it And that's the pyramid of uh, Kefren or Hephra that you see right there in front of us. Here's the Solar Boat Museum where they display a boat that was found here next to Khufu's pyramid. Here's a view, a beautiful view of the pyramid of Cheops from this angle here. Absolutely beautiful from every angle that you view it at. It is a very, very hot day, very, very windy, but it is absolutely magnificent to view this pyramid here from every angle that you can. So, may, take your time and walk around, avoid these people here that will constantly harass you and I repeat that about the harassment because it gets very aggravating and it can ruin your day really so avoid that learn how to deal with it and just enjoy your day and the views And uh, let's conclude our documentary about this magnificent pyramid, the Pyramid of Cheops here at Giza by walking along the northern side, which is the least visited side when tourists visit this stunning structure. It is very windy, so let's be careful here. The ground is very, very uneven as you can see. Now let's get views, the last views of this very historic building. The sun has changed direction and the rays are striking the pyramid and they make it absolutely brilliant. Look at it. What can you say? Now, in case you are wondering, how did they build these structures with this immense weight? Well, they prepared the ground with large, flat stones, as you can see. So the whole pyramid rests on a huge, 
foundation that ensures that it doesn't sink. It is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? As I said, you can come here and spend hours and hours just looking at these tombs. The tombs of Cheops and the other two smaller pyramids behind it. This is Vic. Thank you for joining me all the way from Giza. This has been a tour of the most magnificent pyramid in the world. And of course in Egypt, the pyramid of Cheops. Bye bye. Not press the off button. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Bye bye.